Howdy, 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 my darling Gemini. I hope you're doing well, honey. My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Gemini, for March 2022. All right, honey? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this reading resonates and in what way in the comments below, as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, uh, darling Gemini, if you enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe. Other than that, let's jump right into your tarot reading here today, darling. All right? One last bridge shuffle here, Gemini. And then we'll get right into this. All right. So we have the High Priestess energy stepping in for you, Gemini. All right. As well as the Ace of Cups. Okay. And then the King of Swords coming in. And then the back of the deck, Gemini now, darling. And let me get these cards situated here. We have the Two of Cups. Very interesting message uh, here, uh, Gemini. And normally I don't say, I actually never have said this before, actually. So, because it goes against my own personal beliefs. Um, but y'all have some intuition about someone coming around, right? High Priestess Energy, that's your intuition coming in here. Ace of Cups, that's dealing with your heart chakra, that's dealing with love situations that's dealing with something that is hold, you hold close to your heart it could even be a project or a job here king of swords here it's like you guys are having faith or hoping that whatever the situation is that they see things in a clearer way that they have a better understanding i'm being shown the sun right now uh gemini so perhaps you're hoping to have more they gain more clarity about the situation when it comes to opening up to you when it comes to connecting with you here there's something um that you are really having to bank on your own personal intuition that other people probably gemini would call you crazy for where you're just like oh no yeah they're gonna figure themselves out right it's like this weird message gemini where it's like you have like this really blow like this big blow up fight or someone just randomly stopped messaging you or what have you but it's like like all the signs out outwardly are telling you that would be like okay like this person this connection is no longer going to be happening anymore this situation is no longer going to be happening but something's going on internally here in gemini that's telling you that this is something that's still going to be coming around that some that they're going to gain further clarity about the situation mature about this and calm down, whatever the case is and y'all end up finding your way back to one another especially because of that two of cups in the back of the deck uh there are gemini all right so let's continue on with this reading here we have your energy gemini come on now honey we have the lover's energy yeah <laughs> this is like the reason why gemini i say i personally go against this is that i usually don't like telling people to just like oh yeah wait it out with this connection it's gonna they're gonna find the way back to you you know they're gonna realize the rights that they have done or the wrongs that they need to make right and what have you right i always tell people just like keep on moving keep it moving honey right if they are not deserve if they are not understanding of your energy in the moment honey keep it moving right <laughs> so with this it's like very goes against my own personal bias that i have here because it's like something internally honey that you just know that this is going to be like coming up right i talk about the sun energy and with this ace of cup situation we pull the moon energy which lets you know again of where it's just like this is a situation where they are not fully aware about the situation or they not they are not receptive of whatever it is that you are seeing not a, no one else is really receptive of what it is that you intuitively have uh gemini some type of intel that you have it's like <laughs> again it's like you are coming off as the crazy one because your intuition is telling you a different story than what reality is presently coming off as with this relationship with this situation here it's just like you know in your heart of hearts that you and this energy here are meant to be one in the same five of swords situation here <sighs> Gemini, if this is about some type of social situation, are you concerned about someone like speaking in their ear, giving them a misrep like misrepresenting like who you truly are or misrepresenting the situation for what it is? It's almost as if like this is very specific, but I'm going to just use this analogy because it came in. But it's like a husband and wife and like the husband takes off and moves in with their like spaces out from their wife to go in with like a friend or family and you're concerned about like what they're telling this individual to um against you for what like that's very specific but five of wands energy <laughs> that's crazy right because the five of wands is my least favorite card in the deck gemini because it's the card of just conflict it's the card of where it's just like a lot of energies involved in the situation that just complicate things that fighting over the same goal here 
and you know it's just a lot of conflict and so definitely speaks about some type of outside situation gemini influencing this person's thoughts influencing this situation here where it's like if you feel as if if the situation was just about you two gemini then y'all would be able to thrive just beautifully but because there's some type of outside in energy influencing this dynamic here that's where the problems are occurring that's where the issue seems to be arising page of cups energy here that is by definition the deepening of current connections or new connections coming in for you all right and then we have coming in gemini the seven of pentacles all right so here's the thing gemini with this situation i do see it playing out in exact in the exact way that you predicted this when it comes to this situation all right you're right in this all right even though there's no tangible physical evidence as to what it is that you are feeling internally honey the tarot cards seem to be supporting you in this fact where it's just like yeah like being like you know they're definitely going to fight like this situation here is going to work itself out clarity once clarity is brought into the situation here because that's what i feel like there's a lot of like conversation like conversations two people are having but about another person like there's not clear lines there's not a clear communication you know whereas like if everyone was sat into a room and talked then things would be figured out because it's like things are being misconstrued and just misinformation being said like there's a lot of things that are like a lot of complications due to just like all this excess of energy here all right but i do feel like once this things start coming into the light here uh gemini that's when things will start coming back into uh with you in the situation where you guys become closer again if not even closer than where y'all were at before all this has started going down for you gemini all right so um definitely honey like i celebrate y'all and y'all's intuition in regards to this gemini because it's kind of crazy like again like i personally on a personal level honey i'm not about telling people just to um have faith and just like waiting out a situation because it's like honey like if it ain't there the first time darling see yourself out the situation and find something better right so let's see what else is progressing for you gemini all right nine of swords as well as the nine of wands coming in here which is actually really crazy here because of the sun energy so a lot of cards a lot of things that really uh, are impactful about this so let's unpack this piece by piece all right we have the nine of wands nine of swords here this is being the wounded warrior in the situation here standing strong even though your anxiety is getting to the best of you a little well it's not getting to the best of you gemini because you're standing strong still darling right but it can get tough right when everyone else around you is telling you that you are crazy when all the other results around you are like speaking about a different situation right or like seemingly like <laughs> telling you things to just be like you know being like oh give up gemini move on from this gemini is for you it's just like no but it gets in your head a little bit here but the thing about it is sun energy just as i talked about the moon energy where it's a lot going underneath the surface a lot being hidden here I talked earlier about Gemini, where it's being shown the sun about things being illuminated. Um, but you right now are having this fear about if the sun is ever going to be popping back up in your life in this situation here. If you think if you have this anxiety about the truth actually coming out and being brought to the forefront, you're worried about things actually working out in the way that you have been being that wounded warrior, right? Because you're afraid of coming off as the fool, right? Boo boo the fool, Gemini, in this, if you're hopeful for this and then um, ends up being not the case. Something I want to be pointing out, Gemini, is as well, it seems to be nine is your number. So I will suggest to you, darling, to look up the number nine, Gemini, at a later point in time. So you can see how this, how the number nine just influences your life because you have the nine of wands, nine of cups, nine of swords here. You combine those three nines together, that also equates to nine. So you have nines following you, um, Gemini. All right. So be sure to see how nine uh, resonates with you in your life and what messages that brings. Ten of wands, coming in here with this justice energy justice is definitely going to be served with this 10 uh seven of cups here um <clears throat> let's get a clarity card on that two seven of cups as well as the six of cups or uh, yeah so you got the two of wands with the six of cups clarifying that seven of cups honey all right you definitely are going to be having justice come in here with this situation things are going to be working out definitely in your favor right justice the scales are definitely working in your favor here but i feel like you could go about this in a couple different ways right i feel like you could go about this in a way of where you choose to move on from this connection choose to move on from this energy so you can at a later point get the satisfaction once the truth does come out where you can be like oh we'll see 
uh, I was not lying. You should have trusted this Gemini in the first place, honey. But you wanted to just go along with the silly narratives that everyone has about Geminis and just hate on Geminis because of whatever silly reason people have to hate on Geminis, right? Or you could go to the take the path of what I feel like a lot of you guys are doing right now, Gemini. I'm just waiting this out, playing the long game here. Six of Cups energy that talks about things coming in from referencing things from the past here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is really just trusting the process here, um, Gemini. I do definitely feel like this energy will be back. This isn't the last that you heard from them. This isn't the last that you heard from this job or this project or something. Like you are not the the you have not heard the last of the situation that you've been extremely hopeful for, right? Um, and it turning out b uh, better in your favor. So what I want to be telling you right now, Gemini, you know, obviously it's up to you. Do whatever you, it is that you feel called to be doing, honey. All right. But I do definitely see, and I never say this, honey. I do definitely see that if you choose to wait this out with this situation here, the truth will come. The truth will come out regardless, right? But if you choose to wait out this energy in a specific way, you could have this back into your life if you so want this to be part of your life after everything was said and done, right, Gemini? So let's continue on with your reading here. See if there's any final thoughts, anything else that we need to be looking into for you, darling. We have here the Dawn of Wands as well as the Fool card coming in here. All right, uh, Gemini, things are ramping up for you big time, all right? Things are definitely ramping up for you. I will be saying, I feel like you're going to be having some type of opportunity to really drastically change some facet in your life here. So this opportunity be, could be coming in for some of you Geminis and that you have the opportunity to like move across states, move across countries, cities or something, towns, uh, Gemini through some type of opportunity presenting itself. All right. Um, two of swords or yeah, two of swords coming in here. Yeah. It's like you're going to be presented some type of crossroads where it's just like, all right, do I take this path here? Um, but it's going to bring forth a lot of change, right? You're not going to be able to carry too much with you from your past, right? With that full energy. So be definitely prepared for that, uh, Gemini. Something is definitely coming in here that is going to drastically bring a major shift in y'all's life here. Uh, seven of rings, seven of pentacles coming in. That makes a lot of sense. I think we, yeah, we did pull the seven of pentacles to you pri with you prior. Hermit energy coming in as well. Making sure that was the hermit. And then, darling Gemini, we got here the Six of Rings, Six of Pentacles coming in. Whatever is coming in, Gemini, I feel like this is a lot better of an energy than what it is that you have been dealing with. Can I say that? Right? So whatever has been putting you into this hermiting state, probably for, for most of you guys with this situation here. All right, honey, for those that do choose to move on from that old situation here, you're going to be having something that like is giving you the opportunity of just removing yourself from that space so you don't have to even see signs or get any type of reminder of this energy again if you choose to move on, right? Um, so definitely if you do make the choice, uh, Gemini and be like, all right, like, you know, they're gonna find out the truth. They're gonna realize that I was in the right this entire time, honey. I'm gonna go off into this new path here. You're gonna take this new job that gives you this whole new place of, it's like it, this is providing to you a clean slate um, of energy, which I feel like a lot of you guys have been craving for some time now, Gemini. So um, yeah, definitely a lot of interesting things in the works for you guys, uh, Gemini. I will be saying that it feels like you can't really go wrong here. I feel it's like it reminds me of an oracle card that talks about Gemini like this and that are true where it's like there's not a really a wrong choice to here and that's why I see a lot of indecisiveness with you with that two of swords as well as that seven of cups for you uh Gemini is because it's like there's not really a wrong choice every like whatever path you choose to take there's some pros and there's some cons here so you can't really lose in the situation here Gemini so what I want you to be doing during uh, in the coming days with your life in general don't be weighing out decisions based off of what you think would be more successful um, or have a higher chance of a success rate or what have you Gemini make your choice based off of like what feels right to you all right make the choice based off of what feels right to you and then yeah we have the justice energy here again once uh, once again in the back of the deck uh gemini it's like again you're getting all the scales cards it's going to be working out in your favor things are going to be finding themselves in a way where it just like you always end up winning gemini all right so you can't go wrong with the choices that you make don't go don't suffer through this paralysis by over analysis too much longer gemini and just trust the process honey all right i love you so much gemini if you enjoy this tarot reading today be sure to give this video a like and subscribe be sure if you want to book a private personal reading with me gemini my website is linked down below simply 
TikTok.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both being Simply Velka. All right, Gemini, I love you so much, and I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.